Roly poly, roly poly, up, up, up. Roly poly, roly poly, down, down, down. Roly poly, roly poly, big, big, big. Roly poly, roly poly, small, small, small. Good morning, friends. Find a quiet space where you can relax and enjoy learning using your calm body and your listening ears. And let's get started with our morning meeting song. Good morning to my friends. Good morning to my teachers too. I'm gonna have a great day. I'll start it off by giving myself a hug. Give yourself a nice hug. And let's say our morning affirmation. I love me. My family loves me. My teachers love me. And my friends love me. When you know you are loved, you can make good choices. Let's talk about some good choices we can make today. One good choice is we can choose to be kind. When you are kind, you show someone that they are special and that you care. How can you be kind today? Another good choice we can make is to choose to be patient or to wait. When you're patient, it means that you can wait your turn. Now, waiting is hard, but you can do it if you have a plan. So anytime that you have to wait today, you can stop, take a deep breath, and use counting to help you. Let's say those things. Say, I will be kind. I can wait my turn. Let's move on to our calendar work. We'll start with the months of the year. January, February, March, and April. What do you know about April? That's right. April is the month that we're in. May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. Now, let's do our days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 Well, yesterday was Sunday. So today is m. Monday. Let's figure out what number we need to fill in our blank square. Let's start counting with number one. Are you ready to count with me? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. What comes next? That's right, the number 20. 20 is a two digit number, so we'll need to write two numbers to create that. Does anybody know how to write a 20? That's right, a two and a zero. Let's start with number two. Around the track and back, two, two. And you need a zero. Round and round, just like an O. That's the way to make zero. And a two and a zero make what number? Number 20, you got it. Today is Monday, April 20th, 2020. 
Well, it's a new week, so we're going to focus on a new letter of the week and a new number of the week. I have a bag inside my mystery bag. I have some things that are going to help us figure out the letter of the week. Mm, this looks like a doll. What's the first sound in d, d, doll? A d, d, dinosaur. Can you see that? It's a d, d, doctor. Did you guess what the letter of the week is? That's right. It's a D. The D says duh. Can you make the duh sound with me? When we make the duh sound, we pretend that we're playing on drums. Duh, 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 duh. Good job. Kiss your brain. Mwah. Mwah. The number of the week this week is number 13. A 13 is a teen number. You need a one and a three to make 13. Can you count these 13 triangles with me? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Let's find it on our number line. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. It's the number thirteen. Let's put a star there to remind us of our number focus of the week. What can you find around you to count up to number thirteen? Let's move on to our question of the day. This week, we'll be focusing on things that grow. So today, I'd like to know, if you planted a seed, what kind of seed would it be? Don't forget to comment below. Well, we finished our morning meeting for the day, but before we say goodbye, let's take some deep breaths. Today, we'll pretend to smell a flower, or a cookie. When you smell a flower, you can breathe it in and then blow the petals. Can we do that two times? Or when you smell a cookie, you can breathe in that delicious smell and then cool your cookie down. Let's smell our cookie. Now cool it down. Can we do that two times? Make it a great day. Bye-bye.